Hello and welcome once again, I'm Ephraim225 and this is the start of a brand new Advance Wars 2 ROM hack playthrough. The hack this time is Advance Wars Story by Platinum Skink, not exactly a ROM hack that's on everyone's radar so I wanted to give it some exposure. At its core, it's basically just a custom campaign with no real gimmick to it. There are some new units, and some of the COs are altered. However, it's just straight new maps and a new story to go along with it, and I happen to like the writing quite a lot, so... Uh, I played this back before it was updated, but I haven't seen all of the changes in this update, so I am going in semi-blind. I did check out the first mission. So I like the approach to the story here. This prologue is actually just vanilla dialogue from the mission A Mirror Darkly, which is the Sonya vs. Lash battle from the Yellow Comet campaign in the original game. And it seems that in this story, Lash's words here uh, leave Sonya very shaken after the events of Advance Wars 2. So this story is going to be centered mainly around her and also all of the other COs. Like, in this campaign, you basically get to play as every CO in the game at least once. And fight against every CO in the game at least once. There's a lot of shifting perspectives, and I like that quite a lot. So here we go. First mission will start very soon. Uh, this graphic that you see on the screen, the orange star graphic, I don't think there's really a way to get rid of that or have the game start in Green Earth. So, it's always going to be this orange star logo appearing on the screen at the start. However, the first mission is going to be over in Green Earth. You know, I was wondering if some of the maps in Advance Wars Dual Strike were just practice battles. Because <laughs> you do fight against people that are going to be your allies eventually. So I think this first mission actually explains how that all works. And what could that possibly mean? Anyways, first mission is all the way over here. Might not be the easiest thing to spot. Also, I don't think any of the difficulty stars are changed. They don't really seem all that accurate to the actual mission difficulty. Also, the enemy CO graphic there is going to be glitched because the game is expecting a black hole CO no matter what. So if there is no black hole in the actual mission, there it's just going to show up as a glitchy thing. Practice ammunition, that probably means like rubber bullets. So yes, they count as sunk ships if they reach a certain amount of fuel remaining. Okay, that makes sense. Yes, so victory is boring, it seems, when there's no war to fight. Mission 1, Training Exercise. Uh, this mission does a good job introducing us to the new naval units that were created. I think you can see one of them. Now, the new units, they basically get their graphics from Advance Wars DS. Like, you might have noticed that the cruiser sprite was changed between the two games. Actually, most of the sprites for the Navy and Air units were. Heh. <laughs> Underestimate me at your own peril. Well, it's not Fog of War, so... You know, I don't think it's too much of a stretch to underestimate her. Yes, one of the new units is a destroyer. It is a basic Navy to Navy uh, battleship. Or, not a battleship, but you know, a combat ship. And it can also attack units that are on the coast. And honestly, I think the Destroyer is one of the great new additions in this ROM hack. It does a lot for Navy gameplay. And some of the missions later on, they really show how good of a unit it is. So uh, that'll be nice to check out. And it seems Drake also has a new unit. It's not on screen at the moment. Uh, should probably move the camera over to see it. It is called the Dreadnought and I really don't like it compared to the Destroyer. The Dreadnought, it 
is basically like if you took a mega tank and made it into a sea unit. It's got way too much defense for my taste. So we'll have to send all of our submarines at it, of course. And in this ROM hack, cruisers have been made able to attack other Navy units, just like Advanced Wars DS. Well, they are decently effective, I'll give them that. Alright, let's get started. This mission is a bit difficult for an opener, but we'll see how it goes. It's not exactly the same as when I played it. I don't think this port was here originally. But it is a bit of a stretch to imagine that we can actually capture this, because we have to de we have to fight off all of these units and somehow get our infantry over there. But it's good that we have a port of our own, so I can show off the new Navy prices. You can see that the prices have been rebalanced, and I think these do a lot of good for the Navy combat. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's get started. Should I fire first? Uh, I think I'll fire first and let the enemy come to me. Part of me wants to put the um, battleship on that port, but I think I better capture it first. Also, Navy units can also travel over shoals now. In fact, that's the only way you could get in here. Actually, like if it weren't for that, I would complain about the fact that no units could get out of the port once it's been built, aside from the lander. Though it is a little bit weird, honestly, because there's, uh, there's like sand between the port and the sea. I don't know. Uh, let's just keep moving. I will... I have animations on at the moment. I'm going to turn them off momentarily, but you can see that new animations were not created for the new units, and it can look a little bit awkward if, say, you attack a destroyer with a sub, because then it looks like you're launching torpedoes at a copter. It's really weird. But also fairly amusing. Alright, so subs forward first. There's not much risk of them getting discovered, so let's go here. And I'm going to turn the animations off now. I always play with animations off. I just wanted to show the weird new animation for the destroyer, which isn't really new. Um, what should I do down here? I guess I'll try and capture the um, port. Like, there's no enemy battleships, so I'm not really at risk of getting destroyed or anything quite yet. A destroyer might attack the infantry because they are able to attack uh, coastal units now, but I think I'll be fine. Let's see here. Oh yeah, it's in range. Probably not the best move for me. Uh, let's see if I can... Can I get it to maybe run into the sub? Probably not. Well, I suppose this is okay for now. I'll have the copter up here, because I really got to deal with the enemy Navy units as quickly as possible. Otherwise, they're going to cause a lot of trouble, because the Dreadnought can also attack units on the coast. Anchors away, he says. Oh, the cruiser can also do that? I had no idea. I had no idea the cruiser could also attack coastal units. Okay. That is a little strange. It kind of removes a sort of niche from the destroyer if the cruiser is also able to do that. I don't think they could when I played originally, but... Oh well, no matter. Uh, the enemy has a sub in here somewhere, so I should probably spot that first. It's like right here, I think. Yeah, there it is. Also, Sonia's bad luck got me there. Oops. Right, so I should be able to one-shot this. If I can attack coastal units, let's see how much... Oh, it's not that much damage after all. Okay. That's fine, I suppose. Which And that probably means that the unused cruiser animation is being used. Like, for those who don't know, Advance Wars 2 has an unused cruiser versus ground unit animation. So that's interesting. This is going to get a little weird, though, because I can't really destroy all of these units. So unless the enemy accidentally runs into my sub, let's see what I can do here. I've already lost a unit, so I think the best plan is to... I'm going to use the lander here. Maybe that'll force one of the units to accidentally run into the sub. I have no idea if that's going to actually happen. See, I told you this was a tricky first mission. Wow, the Dreadnought one-shots landers. See, that's why I don't like that thing. It's so powerful. Drake's already got a tsunami. Which is actually going to delay my capture, what do you know? Okay, so we, we haven't lost yet. 
and uh, this time I'm getting a counter break, which is going to be very useful because all of the enemy units are direct combat units. So this is helpful. Probably wish I'd gotten it a turn sooner, though. Well, let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna join, because an 8 HP tank is more useful than a no HP tank. Uh, I'm gonna try and get the... Yeah, I should probably be focusing on the Navy units. This is how much damage a sub does to a Dreadnought, by the way. I really don't like it. So, can I hit the anti-air? Probably should have hit the anti-air, but... This is fine, I think. Still haven't gotten rid of the... Uh, just Don't you just love bad luck? Okay. I think I should be able to... At least do some damage here. See, this is a much tougher mission than it lets on. Alright, I've taken quite a bit of damage, but I think I'll survive. Can this battleship... Uh, it can hit the medium tank, which is a good thing. And finish you off. And I can finally start working on the Dreadnought. Oh, wow, that was a... Well, that was the expected amount of damage. Okay. Also, I think... Let me check Drake, because he still has... Oh, look at this. Isn't this mysterious? Miss dot dot dot. <laughs> Forgot about that. Let me look at Drake's... Uh... Yeah, he still has the defense boost on his uh, Navy units. So finally, this thing is captured. I can at least get a backup ship, if nothing else. All right, keep it moving. Day four. He's gonna get another tsunami very soon. Oh, he'll just use it at the end of his turn, because he can do that too. More damage to my units. So yeah, I still think this mission is a little much. But it's still completable, so that's also... Also, this sub is gonna run out of fuel, because he keeps tsunamiing me. At least I can at least I can build something now. So what should I build? Um well, let's see here. What's more effective against ground units? Probably the destroyer. Not gonna interrupt that cap yet. Uh, I've lost how many units? Like six? There's no way this is going to turn into a perfect S rank or anything. This is not going to be a perfect S rank playthrough. In case you were, like, expecting that or something. So at least the artillery will be forced to remain in its position. And I also didn't have to spend a lot of time actually capturing the HQ. Because I remember... I think I remember having to do that in the original... All right, so that's one more lost unit because Sonia Luck is that bad. But that's the mission done. Also, I think this I think this song right here is from Advance Wars 1. I don't think it was in Advance Wars 2 originally. If it's unused and on the cartridge but just not used by anything, then, you know, fair enough. But porting a song from Advance Wars 1 Pretty nice. A bird told a bird told another bird. <laughs> Green Earth's only got one bird, I think. And that's the first mission of Advanced Wars Story. Let's see what the score is. It's gonna be completely... Yeah, it's an A rank. One point off from an S rank. That's very unfortunate. But oh well. I think I'm gonna do two missions a video, which is probably standard for all of my Advanced Wars playthroughs, so let's keep going with mission two, which is in Yellow Comet. I think I remember what it is, and... Oh, hello there. Uh, 
Uh, this is Platinum Skink speaking, I think. Ah, yes, this is very, uh, considerate. Yeah, all COs are unlocked after the first mission, so you don't have to actually play through the whole thing if you want to maybe check out some of the changes. <laughs> Queen of Advanced Wars hacking. That is pretty accurate. Yeah, I'll let this play through because credits are important. Also, I'm pretty sure my name is in here somewhere. <laughs> ah, yes, Kartal, maker of Fire Emblem Wars and a bunch of other stuff, too. Ah, yes, Mark999 is my screen name on Wars World News. I go by FM225 everywhere else. My hacking tutorials are all over that site. Please go look at them and make some more content for everybody. <laughs> I mean, this is basically just shouting out everyone in the hacking community, if I've got to be honest. We're all, like, integral to the advancement of Advanced Wars hacking and new stuff being made. Okay, seriously, does this go on much longer? I mean, I know you can't really. We don't... I don't think we know how to hack the credits of the game, but it's nice to actually have them here at the start anyways, I suppose. Yes, I played through the original version of this, and um, we'll see if the, my feedback has been useful. Actually, it probably has been already. Uh, anyways, enough of that, on to the second mission. Ah, yes, this time there is a black hole enemy army, so the graphic there will display correctly. <laughs> well, every sport and every job ever is hard work, unless it's YouTubing. Wait a sec. Like, maybe Sonya should start Advance Wars streaming. That would... Actually, that would probably not work out for her. Based on where this is going. Also, nice mission name. A reference to a mirror dark... Okay, for anyone who didn't notice the jump cut, this is attempt number six at the mission. I have tried this, like, six times. And it's turning out to be so much more frustrating than I remember it being. I remember this being a simple affair, but uh, some sort of change in the update must have made this a whole lot worse than it is. I mean, I might have made a couple mistakes along the way, but wow. This is mission two. It should not be this difficult. I'm more than certain I'm doing something wrong. So anyway, Lash is here for a practice battle, yada yada yada. I've had to repeat my commentary so many times. Uh. So, apparently she rigged the cities to explode if she captures too many, which means it's time for a capture battle. A really frustrating capture battle. I'm starting to think there's a reason these don't show up all that often outside of, like, the one mission in Advance Wars DS. Uh. But let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is try to capture these three cities, if possible. There's a Neo Tank, and it's going to go towards one side, so I won't be able to capture all of them. I think the basic idea is to capture those two center properties, and then try to get something on the left or the right. So let's get... 9,000 is not a good amount of money. You only need four properties in order to win, so you have to be very quick about stopping Lash. I'm going to get... Now I'm going to try the double recon opener. Recons are good for interrupting captures and you kind of want a lot of that. Ah yes, and the Neo Tank has apparently changed. The Medium Tank does more damage to it now, it seems. So that's a good thing because the player has a pre-deployed Medium Tank here. Neo Tank appears to be going to the right, but I have gotten it to go to the left. So annoying when it doesn't go the direction you want it to. 
going to try to, um... Does it go towards where there are more units? I don't know. So, I'll have it over here. Build an artillery. Okay, it went over to the right. On one of the attempts, it went over to the left for some reason, because I guess it thought it were more, there were more units there. So, finally, I can interrupt this capture. And I'm not going to do anything with the second recon quite yet. Because with the infantry capturing, it's blocking the, the mech from being able to attack. And I want to hit the mech two times on the next turn. So I will just go ahead and attack like this. That's the best way to deal with a Neo Tank. It conveniently stops right next to the city. And I think it will try to go after the indirect unit instead of the direct combat unit. Because then it would face no counterattack damage. Let's see if that turns out to be true. Probably going to flood the center with mechs. The tank can't reach me yet, right? No, why is it going in the center like that? That's weird. That's very, very weird. Can it go on rivers? It can't. Oh, it's probably trying to get to the neutral city. I think that's what's going on. It's the closest neutral city, so it has to go there. Which is convenient because it does block me from being able to interrupt that capture. So I'll make those moves. And I might be able to take this city with little issue, and maybe I'll keep going up, up to the north as well. So now I need to get rid of the... I need to get rid of the infantry units over here, because they're going to try and capture next. How much does a regular tank do? Okay, that's not a whole lot. In fact, with Sonya's bad luck, it's actually nothing. See, I've been having... I've been having some problems with Sonya's bad luck. In all honesty, I don't really think bad luck should be a balancing factor for a CO like this. Because, in, in Sonya's case... She already can't do a whole lot outside of Fog of War. She doesn't need to be made even worse. Wow, that's uh, that's enough to kill. That's apparently enough to kill. Okay, do this. And... Don't want to do that right now. And again, bad luck with Sonya. More bad luck with Sonya. This is getting ridiculous, I swear. I'm not even sure what I'm doing at this point. I just want this medium tank to hit units. And then maybe I will be able to capture something. I don't mind uh, moving the infantry out of the way there. Um, I think I'm going to need an APC at some point, simply because I want to... Um, Well, these units should probably retreat. There's probably nothing I can do up there. So I'll just join, and that will let me... That will give me enough money for another tank. That's a good thing. Wait, what happened with the Neo tank? It was at, like... Was it at four... It was at four health, right? And it did 60 to a foot soldier? Oh my goodness. I, I'm not liking these changes to the Neo Tank. At this rate, it's gonna run out of ammo. Okay. I can at least do this. That's good. Um, I'm gonna join these up to get some money back. At least the Neo Tank is now trapped. Okay. You run away. Recon's probably going to finish me off. Actually, I'll take a mech up there. Oh, but it can't finish me off if I have counter break up. Oh, I skipped the power quote. I actually think that there are unique enemy CO power quotes, but I am not 100% certain on that. If Lash says the same thing for a quote when she gets Prime Tactics, then we'll see. So at the very least, because the AI always goes for the uncaptured properties that are nearest to them, we can be certain that most of the built units will be dragged all the way over here. But we gotta move fast, otherwise 
uh, they will capture the building that I worked so hard to get. Um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna push through. I've got to get rid of this tank right now. Thanks, Sonia. Your bad luck has come in handy for the enemy once again. <sighs> Why is this so difficult? I can do this and this. I can at least start capturing this neutral city. Go on the HQ. And, um... Tank on this side and recon on this side. Yeah, I was planning on pushing through to the artillery if the tank had actually been destroyed, which it was not. But at least Lash avoided firing at the medium tank, so my best unit is still in play. Maybe I can capture this thing up here. We'll see if uh, she lets me. Um, that's fine. That's not really that bad luck. Okay, I'll keep up the pressure up here. Probably just a pair of mechs here. I need to spam units for technique. My technique is going to be so bad. Okay, so there probably aren't unique CO power quotes for each map. Because that was a different one from last time. Oh boy. There hasn't really been any change to Lash. I think she has something new for her regular CO power. Oh, my cap's been interrupted, so this is going to take just a little bit longer. She's completely concentrating on the left side now. But, with this area secure, I should be able to maybe win, eventually. Like, she can't fire at only one health, right? Well, I'll just go ahead and do that. I gotta be honest, this map has me completely drained, and it's only the second mission. Here. Uh, I guess I'll just completely focus on... Boy, oh boy. Uh, I need to be able to damage the mech over there, but... There's so much standing in my way right now. Well, at the very least, this is probably making for a tense battle for you guys to watch. I can at least interrupt the cap on the left. That's a good thing. I'm throwing away all my units to do it, but, you know, there it is. I mean, I have to do it, because she only needs one more property to win. Well, actually, after capturing that, she doesn't need another one, but I, I would still lose my property. So I wouldn't want that to happen either. Okay. So everything should be fine now. I only need one more turn to capture this property and finish this map finally. I don't really think there's anything she can do. So how many units did I lose over the course of that very exhausting battle? Um, Only four of them. Okay, so this might not be that bad. It's probably an S rank. Well, not a perfect S rank, but still an S rank. That should give me enough power. I should have built units first, but no matter. Touch and go there for a moment. That's how you describe failing the mission six times. And, of course, Slash was just trolling. There were never any bombs. Like, she would have had no real time to set them up. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> That's funny because Lash is called Cat in Japan. Ha <laughs> ha. Wow, I would love to, like, translate this into Japanese and then maybe the one or two Advance Wars fans over there would be like, Hey, this is pretty cool. Hey, that, that, that word, honor, it was spelled like H-O-N-O-R, but there are words in the script that are spelled like in, like in the UK. So is it UK spelling or English spelling? I don't know. I'm just... <laughs> oh, what's this? All caps. Well, that sounds like a challenge if I ever heard one. Okay, S rank. Good. And then it's just an exclamation mark for the quote. Well, it seems that the plot is going to take a very interesting turn in the next mission, but I am finally done with that very difficult mission, so we'll see what happens in the next video. Uh, later, everybody, I'm going to take a rest and take a long drink of some kind of soda. See you, everybody. <laughs>